Teachers, this is an exciting lesson today and one that's so important for students to understand, and that's overcoming the natural man. First of all, we should be clear, and I hope that our students will come away with a clear understanding that our bodies are not bad. We're talking about fallen natures, but as the For the Strength of Youth manual says, our body is sacred. It is an amazing gift from Heavenly Father, and He gave it to us so that we could become more like Him. For the Strength of Youth makes it clear that our body is in the image of God. So, as long as we understand that, then, and this is one of my favorite descriptors from about the natural man, this is from the Old Testament student manual about Ecclesiastes 12. It describes the natural man as man without God. I think that's a wonderful way to think about it. Our bodies have wonderful uh, drives and agendas and purposes, and when put in unified with the purposes of God, it's an incredible thing. But what if we prioritize the natural desires over the divine? So, oh, so let me just share this with you. This is from an, an Aliahona article from July 2006. It's part of the fullness of the gospel series where they go through different doctrinal understandings that are unique to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In this one, it's about putting off the natural man. I don't know if this would be useful for class or not, but as a teacher, I think the information in here is, uh, I think it's the best description in one place of the natural man. It's dual nature. Some great quotes uh, from leaders of the church and including talking about what it takes to change our nature. So I'll leave a link to this in the description, but I really recommend it if you have any questions or just want a more nuanced understanding of the topic to help to answer questions when you talk about this with your kids. Great, great article. Okay, back to the lesson. It starts off with a quote here from uh, Elder Oaks. Now, he is adapting a quote from Shane M. Bowen, and I have some slides that I made of this story uh, from Elder Bowen, and so I'm going to include a link to these in the description if you want to use them. You can click on this link right here, and it would take you to the original talk. But uh, Alan Garns did an illustration that uh, incorporated a wolf with both sides, the evil side and the good side. And I divided that up here on either side because I, I think it reads better that way. Uh, but I just, I thought it was a really great illustration. And if you feel like that would be useful for your class, this is a PDF and I'll include it in the description. Okay, I want to get down to a section here, right here. There will be real power in how we teach this doctrine if we can help Jesus Christ to be even more a part of it. This great question here, how do you think Jesus Christ can help us put off the natural man and become a saint through his atonement, I think is fantastic. But taking a reference from an activity at the bottom of the lesson under, um, under supplemental learning ideas, um, I would offer this suggestion. I'm going to click right here. If we're logged in, we'll have notes available. If you click note and the drawer will open on the side so that you can type in your note. We'll call it traits of Jesus Christ. And in here, I'm going to add this question. How did Jesus demonstrate these characteristics in his life to overcome the natural man? And we're talking about the characteristics that we would see here in Mosiah 3, 19. He needs to put off the natural man and become as a child 
submissive, meek, humble, patient, full of love, willing to submit to all things. How do you see those traits manifested in the mission and atonement of Jesus Christ? So here we've got a note icon, and it looks like this if we do it on our phone. So that way, when we talk about how do you think Jesus Christ can help us put off the natural man and become a saint, and we can see Christ helping us to have those characteristics, I think it's also powerful to see how Christ demonstrated that in the way that he lived his life and conducted his ministry and the atoning sacrifice. And then these other questions are great too. Some other resources. Using cross-references to deepen our understanding. Absolutely. How can we help our students to, to have a richer understanding of this concept? Well, it's got some scriptures right here, and those are included in the footnotes, I think. All those are included in the footnotes. But there's some other places that you could point them to to get a deeper understanding. For example, you could go to the topical guide. The topical guide under the section Man Natural not spiritually reborn, which is another great way of thinking about what it is when we're talking about the natural man. And so here there are lots of different characteristics. For a, another version in the Guide to the Scriptures under natural man, it's got a great simple explanation and some good scripture references. So you could turn your kids over into these resources to discover what they, uh, to report on what they discovered. But then don't forget the Scripture Citation Index. I've talked about this one in the past. I, it's a great time to bring it up again. If we want to go to over here, Mosiah, chapter 3, and then scroll down to verse 19. I'm expecting there to be a lot, and there is 166 uh, times this has been quoted in General Conference. If we click on that, we'll see all sorts of references, and we can look for some of the newest references. For example, uh, the newest one that's on here is uh, Sister Freeman, and it's from the October, that's what the O means, 2023 conference. If we click on this, it'll take us right there to that spot. The April 2023, uh, Elder Uchtdorf talked about that. So maybe give the kids a chance to click on these references and look to see how it's being used in the uh, context of these talks. And maybe there's something new that we can learn there. That's one of the activities that it says right here. You could also give students time to find relevant scriptures or statements from church leaders. Well, the citation index is one of the great places to do just that. So I'll include links to uh, this stuff in the description. Feel free to use it, help your kids to discover these resources, and have a great time digging around and sharing what we're learning about such an important doctrine, overcoming the natural man through our Savior, Jesus Christ.